In today's video, I'm going to make money. You're going to see my trades in real time. And maybe, just maybe, it'll help you become a better trader and help you make some money in the future as well. Sound good? Cool. Hit like and subscribe while the intro plays. Let's get into the live action. I never answered a no, man, I still go, go, go. So like 375.10, I short. Or sorry, 375.20, I get short. I'll just put the order out. Order's out for short at 375.20. See if we get touched. Very close. 375.18, we're actually supposed to get short. Oh no, and that touched too. Okay, we are short. We are short at 375.18. I was looking at the, the math of where the green line was. The green line's at 375.08, so we get short 10 cents above that at 375.18. That is the strategy. Obviously, SPY is very weak this morning. A five-point gap down this morning, um, and now we're shorting a spike. So this passes the eye test, right? This looks, it just looks good. And it matches the strategy, of course. We're below the 15 EMA, printing above the highest point in the last eight bars. That to short according to the strategy. We look to cover below the red line, which represents the lowest point of the last eight bars. Short highs, cover lows into weakness. Buy lows, sell highs on strength. <laughs> but right now, it's, we're, we're very weak. I mean, just overall, just overall, let's look at the daily real quick up here on the top left. We're very weak. And then obviously today, another big gap down day, you know, we look to short. We're in and we see what happens. We're up 25 bucks immediately, but doesn't really mean anything yet until we get to cover, so. No need to celebrate now, right? No need to celebrate now. Oh yeah, I forgot I added that PL day thing down there. So you guys, it's blow it up a little bit. You guys can see a little bit bigger when I'm up on the day. Because I understand that these numbers here next to me are pretty small. I tried to make it a little bit bigger down there at the bottom. Come on down, Spy. You've been super, super weak for a while and super weak today. Let's get that continuation, shall we? Once again, I very much like how this looks. It very much passes the eye test. Shorting a spike after this very much passes the eye test. Whether it works or not is still up to be decided. We are up 50 bucks. Are you doing this full time? No. Nope. I hate that metric, though. I hate the metric of, like, are you a full-time trader or are you not a full-time trader? Because uh, I know a handful of full-time traders that I make more money than, right? Like, <laughs> I just... <laughs> I, 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 dis I dislike when people use that as, like, a metric of how good of a trader you are. Like, <laughs> I could just quit my job and do it full-time. It doesn't magically make me a better trader. Like... <laughs> There we go. Let's make the move. I make negative income trading. Well, hey, Ritzy. I would like to say you're in the right spot to hopefully learn. But I really do think watching traders trade live is the best way to learn. I mean, that's why I that's why I do this here on Twitch. And it's why I post the live, the live trade recaps to YouTube. We really do think it's the best way to learn. You guys, you guys that are coming up now got it good, man. The amount of people that trade live, like for free in front of you, like this, this was not a thing in 2015 when I was coming up. This was not, this was not a thing. There was places you could watch live trading, but it was all like paid rooms. It was like nowhere you could just go watch for free. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys coming up now in the trading game got it good. <laughs> We're up 60 bucks, but we don't take profits early, right? You take profits early, you start to cut into your own edge. Gotta wait for it to get below this red line, which once again represents the lowest point of the last eight bars. <laughs> LOL, you think you make more money than full-time trader? Yes. People people that are full-time traders, I know a handful of them that I make more money than, yes. That's what I'm saying. The words full-time trader don't mean anything. There's a difference between being a full-time trader and making living wages from trading. If you if you ask me, do I make a living wages from trading? The answer is no. That's why I have a job. 
but there's people that are full-time traders that I make more money than. That's what I'm saying. That's why I hate that that's the metric. Like, <laughs> There's a lot online, but two of you guys are truly transparent. Yeah, I mean, I show you guys everything, right? Try. Do you mind sharing your full-time job industry? Software quality assurance. My degree is in computer science. That's why I was able to bring coding, you know, I coded this strategy. That's why I'm able to do that. By the way, I'm thinking of covering this soon. Got really close to the red line there. Once again, that scenario where like the risk reward isn't really in it. I think I am going to cover here. We're going to cover here. We're going to make our $62. It's once again, that scenario of um, what I'm, I'm looking for five point. I'm looking for like to make five more dollars if it comes below the red line or, or there's the likelihood that it could bounce in my face, like double bottom here and bounce in my face. So I'm, I'm happy to take off there where I did. Um, if it goes below the red line here, I could have made, I could have made 10 more dollars if it does go below the red line, but that's fine. You guys saw, you guys saw the other day that I was in a trade that did this and I didn't cover and then I ended up losing like $200 in that trade. I tried to make five extra dollars and instead I lost 200. So I'm happy with that covered. $62 first trade of the day. Very nice. Why not answering my question? Because you're just trying to be a prick. It's very obvious. <laughs> there's no, there's no need to respond to trolls. I show you guys my, uh. I show you guys my trade review journal uh, at the end of every week and just about every day on stream. Just about every day on stream I show this. But if you want to see it, I guess I'll give in to the troll one time. Here is my PL over the last month. Uh, obviously not including the 60 bucks we just made. Whoa! <laughs> Tomorrow is Fed Minutes at 2 p.m. Yeah. Oh, God. Watching this candle. What? The green candle? Uh, 10 cents above the green line, so 374.57, we get short. I'll put the order out, actually. Just so I get, I make sure I get my fill. Okay, we're short, 374.57, we're short. This is a big bounce. But hey, printing still below the, below the EMA, and now above the green line, above the highest, the, above the highest point of the last eight bars. Oh, that's a short, my friends. I don't like this one on the eye test as much as I liked the last one. Gap down, shorting the first spike. You know, now we've kind of had the RSI has been really low for a while. Like, maybe maybe SPY is due a little bit more of a reprieve bounce here. But, um, hey, SPY is still weak. And it's still a short that matches the setup. So I'm going to take it. Very nice. Yep, yep. The system shorted it right where I did, just to double check that we're, we're in line doing what we're supposed to do. <laughs> the, the coded back test is there with us. I enjoy listening to you as I watch the charts, Trey. Thank you, T-Bone. Glad you enjoy listening to me, my friend. I try. I try. My mission statement is to be the most entertaining streamer on the category, right? I don't know if I achieved that, but that's my goal. And hell, you get to watch me throw around a pretty significant amount of money while I'm doing it, too. I mean, 50 shares of a $374 stock. <laughs> Glad I longed that at 373.14. Yeah, nice long. If it met your strategy, it was a nice long, right? <laughs> if you just did it randomly, I would just say you got lucky. <laughs> Once again, Josh, I, th I think it was you that we just had this conversation about, but like... <laughs> Is it? You can take you can take bad green trades just like you can take good red trades, right? If it met your strategy and you did what you were supposed to do, then yeah, good job. If you just randomly bought because it was down low and you happen to make money, that's a bad trade. <laughs> that's not a good trade. <laughs> people people get so so results oriented, right? Like oh oh I made money, yes, or like oh no I lost money, oh no, like. <laughs> All, all you have control over is expected value. Get in where you're supposed to get in, get out where you're supposed to get out, and know what the expected value of that trade is. That's all you can control. If you're taking random trades, you take away that control, and it's like, was that really a good trade just because you made money? Like, I would say no. I would say no. Oh, 
Oh, I just realized that thing down there is capturing the PL open. It's capturing the open of the trade. I thought it was capturing the PL of the day. I think it does. But I think my I think my screen just shifted. I think normally that thing down there does capture PL on the day. Because we're down 11 bucks in this trade, but we're still up 51 on the day. It scared me for a second. I was like, I looked at my stream and I was like, why am I red on the day? But that's my PL open. <laughs> All right, yeah, we got squeezed into a little bit right after we shorted this, but starting to come back in our direction a little bit, although being bought up. Yeah, Spy, like I said, on, on the eye test, it, after being, I mean, the RSI has been under 20 on Spy all morning. Like, it feels like it needs a bit of a reprieve bounce here, but hey, right, short it where we're supposed to, right? Short it where we're supposed to, get out where we're supposed to. Stop losses RSI 70. We really hope that doesn't happen, but hey, if it does, it does. We do have, we do have an oh shit contingency plan. <laughs> we do have an oh shit plan. <laughs> or obviously as always below the red line, which is all the way down here at 372.90 right now. So such a, it's such a big move up. It needs a pretty big move down to break down the level. There you go. Come on, let's get some follow through here, spy. Let's get some breakdown. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I'm not gonna do that. It was a weird, it's a weird jig. I didn't, I, I didn't like that. If I didn't like it, I know you guys didn't like it. Oh, spy didn't see. Now, now I'm being punished. Spy's gonna bounce now. Market makers are like, nah, he's. We can't, we can't let him make money. No, 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 no. Do you see what he just did? Bounce it. Do you see the dance he just did? Bounce it. Make him lose money. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I loved it. Oh, Frasky, you're too kind, my friends. You're too kind. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube, Twitch. You guys are all on the video now. You can, you can be famous. You can be on the big screen. For my 1,400 YouTube subscribers. That's famous enough. That's famous enough. 1,400 subs? I'm coming for Logan Paul next. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Red, red, red. I love to see red. Come on. You've been so weak lately, Spy. You know you just want a big breakdown. Yeah! Ooh, we touched 100 bucks up. 100 bucks up on the day. Camo! Let's go! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Camo, just continue this down. Just, just big break. Stop. Why? Why bottoming candle? Who's buying this? Oh, you're gonna go green, are you, candle? No, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Big breakdown like this just to get bought right back up. That makes sense. Yep. <laughs> Come on down, markets. Trade is slow. Trade is slow. I was getting really excited here. I thought I thought we had broken down. Like I thought it was happening. But no, no, we're just kind of chopping. Maybe they're doing that IV crush thing that I was just talking about. Maybe that's what they're doing right now send this thing sideways a little bit crush off some of that iv that's built up so high so heavy i think by end of day we should see 380s everyone's expecting more downside market usually does opposite nothing's impossible nothing's impossible 380s end of day would be a really nice recovery i mean all of, to be fair all that would do is go close the gap from where we closed on friday but Okay, we're getting a small move down here. Come on. Let's get like back down here. Back down here, I'll cover. <sighs> consider, I considered just covering that uh, little move down there. Spy, it, it, Spy's just not, doesn't feel like it's in trend anymore. All right, Spy, Spy looks really undecisive here. So I just considered just, I considered just getting out. Oh, uh, it's gonna suck now if this bounces. It's gonna really suck. 
supposed to get out where I'm supposed to get out, though. It's just like I don't feel... Like, this doesn't pass the eye test anymore. Just, like, kind of looks boring now. Well, it doesn't look boring. You, you want me to know what it looks like? It looks like I don't know which direction it's going to go. Like, here, I was pretty damn sure it was coming down. Like, first spike after this gap down. Here, like, you know, even entering the short was a good entrant on a spike after the gap down. But now, like, a, like chopping for 15 minutes? It's like, I have no idea what this is going to do now. It just feels like it's going to rip a direction. Whether it's up or down, it feels like it's going to rip a direction. <laughs> I'm covering here. I'm covering into that move down. Because of everything I just said, I'm taking into this move down. It's now at like the lows of this consolidation and it's been bouncing off this area. I mean, for the last 10 minutes, it's been bouncing off this area. And look, it's bouncing again. So I'm just taking there. Wow, um, wow. It's immediately up 50 cents from my, or 40 cents from my cover. Okay. That was a that was a that was a bit of an eye test decision, but um so far I'm happy with it. Woo! It's immediately up 70 cents more I covered. Hey, good job, streamer. Hey, good job, Trey. Everybody, you have to like the video now. That was good, good. Man, I like that exit. Good job. You know what I'll do since I like that exit so much? I'll like your YouTube video, Mr. Streamer Man. Wow, what a Yo! Alrighty, so that wraps up the two live trades from this morning. And so far, as you can see, the two only trades I have taken today. Um, and let's talk about that last exit, by the way. First off, yes, it initially spiked really big. It kind of came back and chopped around back in the zone, but then it did end up really taking off. You know, that's what I talked about why I exited that trade a little early, because I was like, you know what? I don't feel any kind of edge in this trade anymore. I don't feel like I have any idea what direction this is going to go in. And it did end up ripping up. And we covered just about, the low of this candle is 373.91. We covered 373.98. Just about the very bottom of this range before this rip up. I also really want to talk about this first entrance. The high of this candle, 375.21. We got short at 375.18. Just about perfectly top ticked this first bounce. I mean, shout out the strategy. I mean, it told me to get in there, but shout out. That's such, such a nice entrance. Then bang, cover, bang, cover. Just two trades up $91. Only traded 100 shares of SPY round trip and we're up $91.50. That is pretty darn good. Continuing to plug away very well. You guys saw the PL graph during that video um, of the last month since we added the MA into the trade plan and it's doing really well. And today's another example of that continuing to plug away. You know, yes, we got rocked. I'm here to admit that you guys all saw it. I don't hide it from you. We learned a lesson from that. We added the MA, you don't, don't, that's why you journal, right? You get rocked, you figure out why. Okay, we were shorting uptrend way too much. We were shorting into hard trends too much. Okay, let's find a way to fix it. We have, and we're trading along quite well so far over the last month since we have added the moving average. So hopefully it continues along. Make sure you all are subscribed to the channel to find out if it does, as I post these live day trade recaps every single day. Also, hit the like button. Thanks. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I will catch you all in the next one. <laughs>